Today is Earth Day, but all week long we are sharing stories in an effort to build awareness of the issues facing our environment. There are some rules you may have forgotten about or may not even know about when it comes to what you can and cannot put in your blue recycling bin. Arnetta Aranpour has more on the rules of recycling, including some images that make you, make you never ask for a plastic bag at the store again. What should and should not go into these blue bins? Well, have you heard of a term called wish cycling? Just because you want it to be recycled doesn't mean it should be. In fact, these wish cycling items end up putting a stop to the entire process at recycling centers. So let's start with the big no-no first. Plastic bags, these are some of the biggest contaminators. They get caught in the recycling machines. First of all, refuse plastic bags at every chance you get. Quite honestly, plastic bags are a pollutant. That's why they were banned. And the pandemic unfortunately brought them back. Ian Monahan with I Love a Clean San Diego shared these images of the conveyor belt that sorts recyclables. And this is what happens when you put bags in the blue bin. They have to stop the entire process and clear them out. Go to wastefreesd.org for a map of the retailers, the grocery stores, that'll take your plastic bags. Hoses and metal chains are also considered tanglers, and they can bring the system to a halt. And as Ian points out, one of the most common recycling mistakes include what we get in the mail. Now, these are okay to recycle, but not these. Plastic mailers with the bubble insulation, the little air pillows that go inside of packaging. That is not recyclable. Now, cardboard is fine to recycle, but please tear these down. You don't have to worry about taking off any of the tape or the labels. Also, labels on bottles are okay. You don't have to take these off. And so are caps, but only if you leave them on the bottles. That's because anything loose that's smaller than a credit card can get lost in the process. These can also get lost in the process. Not recyclable. Plastic spoons, forks, knives, too small. Those small salsa packets, um, or the items like that, unfortunately, just fall through the cracks and become trash. And no styrofoam dishes, please. Leftover food is also a huge recycle ruiner. If your extra spaghetti or that soup ends up in the blue bin, it can soil the entire thing. If it spills over other, like for instance, cardboard or paper, which is highly right. recyclable, that soaks into the process and they can't recycle that. So basically, that whole pile would have to be pulled out and and thrown away. So here's something I always thought I had to do. I would rinse out my cans and bottles, but you don't have to do that. All you have to do is shake out any extra liquid and scrape out that peanut butter. You want to get all that goodness out of there to eat it anyway. So it's just scraped clean. So things like greasy cupcake boxes or pizza boxes are a no-go, but Ian says tear off the top and you can recycle that. Some of you may think anything with a triangle on it is okay to dump. Nope. The triangle was developed by the plastic industries to stamp on plastic products. So no matter the shape or even the number that may be on your plastic product, that doesn't mean it's always safe to put in the blue bin. As Ian says, don't go by the stamp on the product. Go by the city's recycling guide. We have a link to that at CBS8.com. For Earth 8, I'm Nada Iranpour.